Good morning, good morning. Alan Nuckman from Option Shop with your morning market stir for Friday, March 15th. Will the stock markets continue its run? Another strong day yesterday. The Dow finished its 10th day on the positive here, up 70 points, one, uh, sorry, 14,464 on the day. The E-mini S&P has gotten eerily close now to the all-time highs, up seven at 1557. The low yesterday was 1549, so even though we did have a plus day, it was muted, somewhat muted action with a tight range. The Nasdaq's at 2801, up eight points. Yesterday's big news was the dollar reversal. The dollar rallied up to 83.42 at one time yesterday, approaching these, you know, the highs of 2012 at 84, and uh, then it backed off and actually closed negative. So a big reversal yesterday, down 33 in the dollar, 82.82 was it closed. That reversed the euro currency. The euro currency made multi-month lows yesterday at 129.18, but closed on the positive at 130.10. So that's important to keep an eye on if this is a real reversal here that could support some other markets. Bonds continue to drift lower, finished down seven at 141.11. Did get down as low as 140 and three quarters. 140 and a half from last Friday is the extreme low that acts as support for right now. Crude oil was 50 cents positive, 93.40 with that reversal in the currencies. And uh, gold was steady yesterday at 15.91. It did sell off down to 15.62, but made a comeback and did, uh, did close positive, plus two on the day, 15.91. So that's a good sign looking for gold to have some follow through after testing that support point at 15.85 from the top of the channel last week. So with that, all the action yesterday and the quiet before the storm here this morning, where do things stand on this Friday morning to end the week? Well, right now, like I alluded to, it's very quiet uh, as we're approaching the all-time highs in the S&P. Right now, we're down one point at 1555 in the E-mini S&P as we stand right now. 1575 is the high target, so we're still a ways away, but we're approaching the, uh, the all-time high close anyways as far as the cash goes. Dow futures are down four, NASDAQ's unchanged. The dollar index continues to drift lower. That's a positive sign for some of these commodities markets. Down 30 at 82.30. The euro currency is up 63 at 130.69. And bonds are sitting right at the 141 level. The currency downward movement here has supported crude once again. We're at 93.70. 94.50 is the halfway point of the recent action that we want to watch on the upside to confirm that we've got a nice little bottom here uh, to make another push upward. Right now, gold is steady, 1591 and change, up 50 cents. Again, 1605 is the near term target in gold from that $20 channel that it traded in last week uh, before the breakout. So, 1605 on the upside is the near term target to keep an eye on. So, to wrap up the markets, it's all quiet as we approach the all time highs in the SP. We're down one point at 1555. We're down four points in the Dow futures, and the NASDAQ futures is unchanged. I will see you early Monday morning for the stir in the markets to set up your trading day. For Option Shop here at the CME Group, it all comes back to commodities.